What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing something I tried to do about 5 to 6 months ago and that's exposing infinite waters diving deep. Now, 5 to 6 months ago I made this video uh, it's called the Black Typez uh, or the Black Ty Lopez exposed scammer infinite waters scam exposed scam. <laughs> I was really getting the scam in there, man. Uh, into the <laughs> tags. <laughs> Holy shit. I just read that back to myself and that's ridiculous but anyway so today I'm gonna be actually exposing this fucking dude and uh, yeah so essentially I made that video but I like I was learning how to edit so I was overdoing things like I put in music and stuff where I just didn't need to it was really stupid but um, it was just a bad video I didn't do it right and I didn't like add any type of like you know bullet points to my video at all like I didn't go like this is why he's a scammer. I was just like, look at this guy. He always looks like he's smoking weed. I pretty much insulted him. I didn't really talk about anything I'm going to talk about in this video. Hopefully, it's going to be a million times better than I think it is. But, uh, you know, I'm only going to post it if it's a million times better because, uh, you know, I don't want to put out another shit video. So, essentially, I try to expose this guy. Um, I did get a bunch of views, actually, like 1,500 views, which isn't a lot for most people. But... Uh, for me, for a 20 subscriber YouTube channel, it's quite a bit. So hopefully this video gets the same amount of views but more likes because in this video I'm actually going to expose the guy. So let's get into it. First things first, look at my notepad because I have notes. Uh, so first thing I want to do is go over my history with finding this guy. I have no idea how I found him. I think he was in like the recommended section. I think what I was gonna do is what I, w I was gonna like make a video exposing Ty Lopez just like everybody else was doing. Like I saw H3H3 he did it and I saw like Leafy do it and I was kind of like trying to do what they were doing at the time and uh, if you guys look at any of my older really shittier videos I was really trying to copy them. Um, this video is not gonna be like that. It's gonna be completely independent. Uh, the only reason I'm doing this video by the way is because I've been getting a lot of comments on this video where people are like you're wasting your time worrying about others you didn't really expose anything uh, though um, things like you're extremely misled and I've been ex I've been kind of responding to these comments but I really wanted to make a another one that was a lot more in-depth and people have been telling me like uh, like this guy isn't real like he's not like really bad he's just you know trying to be a good guy he's trying to do whatever but in this video I'm gonna like kind of say like this isn't a good guy he's not giving you actual help he's just doing this for money and I don't mean like just doing it for money just so he can get by I mean just doing it for money because he's just being a very schemy person um, and I don't know I'm just trying to like at the end of this video you guys don't know what I'm talking about I don't want to insult him uh, with you know bad words but you guys can make up your own opinion of him at the end of this video once I've gotten through all my points so like I said um, I found him in some recommended section like I was watching a YouTube video or something and I guess I found him and I was like oh this is an interesting video clicked on it you know he's got these thumbnails I'm like 12 dream symbols you should never ignore <laughs> and he's like fucking flying <laughs> through space or some shit so I guess I clicked on one of his videos and I was like oh this is interesting he's talking about like this and that he's got a weird intro it's whatever and I think, you know, at some point I was like, wow, this guy is just crazy or something. I, at some point I realized that he was not like what he's trying to be. Like here I see like, you know, whenever he goes, um, how to manifest 33 magic, how to man, okay, this is a real title, how to manifest 33 magic warning. This video will change your life. Okay. Like it doesn't make any sense. This title, how to manifest 33 magic. I, this title is incredibly, um, incredible. <laughs> what the fuck? I've, this is the first, he has a lot of videos, guys. So some of these video titles I've never heard of. This is one of them. <laughs> fuck. How to manifest 33 magic. It, it's not 33 magical, like, whatever. It's just 33 magic. Is that a type of magic? He infinite waters diving deep once again we are out here in nature it's a whole new start the new year wait a minute every day's new year 
when you're following your calling, can I get a hello there? And I, I imagine, like, people who are hardcore fans of this guy going, hello, <laughs> like, every single fucking time he says that. Like, this is his intro, he goes, um, you know, he goes, like, peace, whatever, 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 and then he goes, can I get a hello at some point into the video, and I just imagine, like, some fucking 52-year-old woman going, hello, <laughs> like, back to him or some shit. I don't know. I don't know why. This is stupid. Anyway, um, that's his intro. First, start by saying I am infinitely, infinitely grateful, right? Infinitely grateful to connect with great people every single day, right? And I call this whole year, which really is every day, right? <laughs> the year of unity where we're letting go of the old we're embracing the new paradigm right where magic we're gonna see it's gonna be all around us so when we talk of manifesting three three magic i get thousands of questions it's hard for me to keep up but i get a lot of questions around synchronicity why do i see 11 11 2 2 2 3 3 okay so 3 3 magic is something i'm not sure what it is but he's going to be talking about in this video. I don't really care too much to uh, listen to this video right now. I do want to talk about what I said in my last video. So I wanted to introduce my history with the creator, which I kind of did. How I found his channel, stuff like that. So I made that really crappy video. And now I'm going to go over what I said in my last video. Pretty much all I said was like, you know, insults, th things like that. Um, I just kind of made fun of him. It, I compared him to Hitler. It was a really bad video. Like it was not... Like, if you guys just kind of, if I skim through, you can see, like, I'm putting music, I'm, you know, just doing all this random shit. Like, there's not really any substance to this video. Um, I just kind of say, this guy's really fake, he's a scammer, guys, don't watch him. And since then, he's gained about 300-something thousand subscribers, so you guys obviously didn't listen. Anyway, <laughs> it's all good. Uh, anyway, in this video, I want to do something a little bit different. I want to go over like three or four points where I am like actually proving that this guy is bad. Um, and so let's get started. First things first, let's go into the tags. This is a random video. I've never seen it before, but I do know a couple things. First of all, he's got this tag in here. He's got the dealing with panic attacks, anxiety, Zoella. Yes. He has that tag in here. He's got that tag in just about every freaking video. You know what other tag he has? Jenna Marbles in every video. Buzzfeed, ASAP Science, things like that. Every single video. Every year, he changes the date. He hadn't done it yet. 2016, 2015. In a couple of months, I bet you he changes the title or the tags in, um, in you know his videos as, as they're coming out. Because he does put one out every single day. Anyway, he puts like that type of crap into the video. Now, as you guys can see here, there is no mention of how to manifest 33 magic. Nothing. There's no magic, manifest, how to, maybe some how to's in here. I don't, nope, no how to. Uh, this video will change your life. Warning, right? None of that in the tags, right? Why? Because he copies and pastes his tags every video now this would be okay if he was making the same video every time but he's not as you can see how to recognize people from past lives right i bet you that's not the same as this and this isn't the same as okay these tags don't fit any video he makes by the way like n he's never done a video with asap science or jenna marbles or zoella i looked for them but i just haven't seen them although he has done like videos on things like stress and uh, motivational videos and happiness and infinite waters ralph smart that's his name um let go secret people life hacks stars things like that he's not videos on so you know that that's like stuff he could put potentially in like an about page where he's talking about the types of videos he makes or maybe if he's trying to describe his YouTube channel in the description, right? But down in the tags is the tags, if you guys don't know, are essentially what you put 
or what you want people to search your video for. For example, if you make a video that goes how to manifest 33 magic, the types of stuff you want to put in here is how to do magic, what is magic, um, 33 magic, things that other people would look for if they wanted to find your video. Now, if someone was trying to find out how to be rich, you would not put that in your video tags because those people would come to your video, they would see, you know, uh, they would see your title, it'd say how to manifest 33 magic, and they would never ever click on it. So it'd just be a waste of time for both YouTube, it'd be wasting like their uh, search engine space, and for you, it would be wasted because you could have put other tags in there that would get people to click. So it's a really big waste of time for everybody to have these tags uh, wrong, okay? You don't get as many views, YouTube doesn't get as many people to watch their videos as much, okay? That's one thing that, the reason he shouldn't do that, but the bigger reason here is that it's against the rules. You can't actually do this unless you like want to get banned or you want to get your videos taken down or strike down. You cannot use false advertising, or not false advertising, this is considered deceptive practice in YouTube whenever you use the wrong tags. Uh, essentially, if someone's watching Jenna Marbles video, right, they're watching her video, and uh, they, he puts his tag here, um, or he puts her tag here, whenever someone's watching her video, this video might pop up in the recommended section of her video, and these videos have nothing to do with Jenna Marbles videos. Okay, so they're two completely different things, and he's just getting more views off of Jenna Marble, that tag, and that's called a deceptive practice. And people that, you know, have read the terms of service know that you don't do that, okay? Every single one of these things I talk about in my title, in the video, I talk about my tags um, because they, they're, you know, equivalent I guess to my video like they have something to do with my video now if I put like Jenna marbles and ASAP science and stuff like that in my tags that would be deceptive practices as well now if we go back here you can see Vsauce these things don't belong in his tags so he's practicing deceptive practices he's getting a lot more people to his YouTube channel he, he pretty much mixes like religion and science together to create whatever he puts out right so his religion, his religion, I don't think it's like um, Christianity or Buddhism or anything like that. It's his like own like spiritual infinite being thing, right? Um, so I don't know exactly what religion he is. He's never talked about it in any of the videos I've seen. And I've seen like a hundred videos from this guy, uh, which is pretty sad actually. But um, I've been doing a lot of research. I want to make sure like... I'm not just looking at one or two weird videos. I'm actually looking at like, like the the real shit. So, anyway, um, or like I'm getting a broad spectrum of this guy, and I think I've gotten that personally. So, anyway, uh, he has actually been like mixing like science. Essentially, what he'll do is he'll go watch like a TED talk, and I have like personally done research like I've seen a video and then researched every single topic every single name he has spoken in that video right and uh, I've concluded that he will go like see a TED talk or something and then he will use science from that TED talk to manipulate something right so here's one I actually have an example for you guys right uh, there was this video where he uh, talks about how to like manifest or how to like send people mental messages it, I think the title of the video was how to send mental messages something like that right and in the video he talks about a few things uh, telepathic healing messages he talks about telepathy overall he talks about like the two words that are in uh, telepathy tele and pathy and how they're Greek and then um, he talks about things like um, you know how to do it so he has like this 10 uh, 10 ways to get really good at telepathy or whatever right in that video and in that video at the beginning of it he says something like without using the five senses right so he goes how to send people mental messages without using the five senses which means you would not need your eyes your ears your nose your tongue or any of your like skin 
like to do this right you don't have to use a keyboard you don't have to use a screen you don't use your phone you don't use any of that you actually use telepathy right but one of his things that he talks about in that video right like one of the steps or one of the ways to get really good at being uh, telepathic I guess um, one of the like ways to be good at it is to be healthy and he talks about eating enough vitamin C and as he's talking about you know you having to eat enough vitamin C he sits there and he talks about how vitamin C is useful in like your cornea and like developing the uh, muscles in your eyes now I'm not like 100% sure if vitamin C is a thing that you need to see I'm sure it's useful in your body I'm 100% sure of that but I don't know if it's like something you really need to keep up with your eyesight um, so he says this but the thing is that's one of his steps you need to stay quote-unquote healthy so you can see but one of his things at the beginning of the video he said he says you don't need any of the five senses so why the hell would you need your eyes Do you see like that kind of like like weird like dual message type thing that he's doing he just kind of makes things up as he's saying them like for example if I was sitting here and I was telling you guys like how to pay your taxes right I have no idea I've never done it I'm 19 I've I've never paid for you know taxes or I've never done my taxes right but if I was to make some shit up I'd go all right what you do is you get in your car all right it's 10, ten step process right number one Make sure you need to pay your taxes. Go online, do some research. Make sure you're smart enough, right? Number two, get in your car. Go to H&R Block. Number three, <laughs> like, pay H&R Block to help you with your taxes. That's it. And then, and then for the, like step four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, he'll be like, you know, how to sweet talk that guy at H&R Block to like make sure you don't uh, like pay as much or whatever. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I, I just don't know. Like, he would literally make shit up in the middle of the video that has nothing to do with that video to just have 10 steps on, on, on how to pay your taxes or whatever, right? He hasn't done a video on paying taxes of my knowledge or to my knowledge, but he's done. he just did it um, for the video I was talking about, the uh, telepathy video, right? So... That's one thing. Another thing is he used in that same video uh, it, of telepathy or about telepathy. Uh, he talked about quantum entanglement and how uh, trying to use quantum entanglement and say that it, it's responsible for telepathy, right? So he, he sat there, he went out, he watched a um, like a quantum entanglement, like TED talk or something. And uh, he realize that like that quantum entanglement and telepathy seem similar right so uh essentially like he was trying to explain like okay so whenever quantum entanglement happens uh if you like if one atom moves to like the left the other one will move to the left you know essentially there's two atoms and if you move one to the left the other one moves left to the left at the exact same time no matter how far it is so essentially like something would move uh, faster than light technically like there would have to be some type of signal there uh, one telling the other but we don't know how that works so he's just trying to like say that quantum entanglement is, is uh, responsible for telepathy um, but he can't really explain it so he goes like don't let me get too technical on you like he knows exactly how it works and then one of his other steps was you have to get someone that believes in telepathy okay and he goes if you're a skeptic and you say it's not gonna work it's not gonna work well no shit it's not gonna work if I'm a skeptic because it doesn't work no one thinks it's gonna work unless they believe in it and if you believe in it there's a automatic placebo there right because you believe in it right so none of the, that makes sense and that's literally one of his steps if, if you want it to work you have to send it to someone who believes they're gonna be getting a message from you he he makes a comparison between cell phones and like telepathy right he makes the comparison if someone you know for you to send and receive telepathic messages you have to have your quote-unquote cell phone on so you have to be sitting there in some pose and you have to be thinking about you know receiving a telepathic um, 
you know vision or whatever and same thing with sending you have to be you know you have to be like you have to have your phone on or whatever like your mind phone on and you have to send your telepathic <laughs> messages through that and then later in the video he goes like you have to be in a quiet place this can't be in a loud place it has to be in a quiet place you know how whenever you talk on your phone and you're in a loud area or something uh, you know your phone it's hard to hear it's hard for the other person to hear you yeah it's the same thing with telepathy you know phone and tele telepathy works the same way so he makes this stupid comparison between phones and telepathy and it doesn't make any sense and the title of the video isn't you know how to be telepathic or how to use telepathy to communicate he goes how to send a mental message or whatever um, and and one of the things he talks about in the beginning of the video is how to send telepathic healing messages is what he said and he doesn't talk about that at all in the video so you can see how weird his videos are how he just makes shit up and if you guys don't believe me I'll leave a link down in the description below to the video where he talks about telepathic healing messages telepathy quantum entanglement and how it's very similar to phones okay I'll leave it in the description below and you guys can watch the whole video for yourself and you guys can decipher uh, whether you believe me on you know thinking that this guy is like literally crazy or he's just making shit up or if you think that telepathy is real okay because this guy thinks it is he, it's not like a metaphor for something else no it's like a real thing to him he sends mental messages to other people okay without using the five senses but he has really healthy eyes because he's a vegan seven day vegan challenge anyway <laughs> that's something else he does he says seven day vegan challenge randomly throughout the video he'll be talking about something seven day vegan challenge all right so we are gonna do our taxes now like he just says that shit like for everything he says it like <laughs> let's go <laughs> to the fucking thing go to his channel uh, how to send someone mental mess or how to send mental messages to someone right there that's the video title um, seven day vegan challenge how to stop energy vampires seven day vegan challenge like literally he says that shit in every video <laughs> every fucking video guys anyway that's one of the things I want to talk to you guys about number two he does not Use scientific data to give health information. Things like how to start a food diet, lose weight, burn fat fast. Right here, this video, 19 minutes long. He did not use scientific data to create this video. He calls himself a psychologist, okay? You can't legally call yourself a psychologist unless you have a like doctorate in like psychology or you have like a degree in psychology. Like you can't actually do that like that's illegal pretty sure you can't be like I'm a doctor if you're not a doctor you can't say you're a cop if you're not a cop you can't say these things because you just can't it's against the law um, <laughs> at least it is in America I think he lives in the UK at this point um, because in the winter time he'll go inside and then like recently whenever he does do videos outside uh, you see uh, the uh, condensation from his breath like he'll breathe out and you'll see like smoke uh, coming out of his mouth it's not it's not actually like cigarettes or weed or blah, 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 blah. it's not cigarettes or weed or anything because he doesn't actually make any cuts in his video very low effort but you know he does like go outside and like breathe in and breathe out and you'll see like the condensation essentially of the water uh, vapor so he'll be outside and I think uh, the only place I could see him being uh, is the UK because he does have an accent as well uh, it's very you can easily tell that it's a it's an accent anyway and he's wearing a jacket a lot uh, anyway so he gives people um, essentially like scientific uh, data that isn't correct as well um, so every once in a while he'll go uh, in a video he'll say something like if you uh, another thing I did research on is he said if you meditate a part of your brain will actually shrink and that will cause you to be less uh, depressed or less fearful fearful and less anxious about uh, things in your life and 
uh, this video specifically, I uh, I really did the research. I he said some uh, he said a name like Amy something. Um, I don't remember. It was like two days ago I did this research, and I looked up her name. Um, she, one of the most popular things that she was known for. She had like a Twitter account, 66,000 uh, followers. She did a TED talk. Uh, essentially, I watched the whole TED talk, and at the end of it, I saw that she was also a scam artist. Um, <laughs> So, I don't know if I'll be making a video on her. I think it's like uh, Amy Cuddy or something. And he called her an amazing psychologist. Now, the thing is, she graduated from, uh, or she had a degree um, in, she went to business school essentially, right? So, she's a businesswoman. This guy isn't, he's just a bullshit artist. But she is a bullshit artist that graduated uh, business school. So she knows how to do it a little bit more legally. She doesn't go out there and say things like, um, you know, ghosts exist and stuff like that. Because her reputation will be ruined, you know. Because she, um, she actually says things from the perspective of a scientist. She will look up studies and use those studies as a basis of uh, her claims. But the thing is, all of her studies are like, they'll say one thing and then she'll take something crazy away from it, right? So one of the study, studies that she was um, talking about was like a small study done with like 30 people and she was talking about like meditation or something and oh no, it was like 130 people. Sorry, that's a very big difference. Um, and she was talking about meditation and some of the people were uh, meditating more, some less. And one of the, the people who were meditating more, one of uh, like the amygdala part of the brain uh, had actually shrunk and other parts of the brain had grown a little bit long, longer or larger. So essentially like, um, like the amygdala was working less. So people were like stressed out a little bit less. But like the results were like negligible like you could see that there was a difference there but it wasn't really that big and people didn't like change their personalities and you know all of a sudden become like super like like fluent in like 17 languages like no this was a small change so like i said he makes claims that, the, that are uh that don't use scientific data properly like he takes them out of context and he to give like health information and i've seen a couple of things on here i can't really name them um, but I've seen him say things that are just wrong like I've been googling a lot like ever since I started watching this guy's video because he'll he'll be talking and he'll go like so the way you want to uh, approach becoming a telepathic being is you want to uh, let me think what, what would he say you want to go outside because when you're outside you uh, you experience telepathic messages a lot more uh, strong or a lot stronger they are a lot stronger the messages just like if you were in a cave and someone uh, called you on your cell phone you might have uh, bad reception or no reception at all same thing if you're in your house you would not have very good reception to the telepathic messages now one thing I do want to say is if you're outside and you're meditating uh, oxygen will actually cause your brain to grow and if your brain grows you will be smarter now he'll say some shit like that I'm, I'm just doing a really bad job of trying to like copy him because I, I can't make shit up on the spot like he can he he's so good at that by the way he can just make shit up watch like 10 of his videos in a row and you'll see just the amount of shit he makes up so he'll just start making <laughs> shit up so fucking well and it's crazy um <laughs> i just can't believe he, he's an artist when it comes when it comes to bullshitting to your face like he could he could be like right in front of you and he'd be like telling you a lie right to your face and you'd be like no -uh, here's this thing this thing to counter him and you prove him completely wrong and he, he just pulls some shit out of his ass he's like no, actually, there are 52 studies that confirm what I'm saying. I can't pull them up right now, but, you know, we're in the middle of a park. You know, I don't have my phone. Uh, it's definitely not in my back pocket, but I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I'm real. I'm, I'm not lying. So anyway, he would pull some shit up out of his ass and tell it to you. He's really good at that, but... 
essentially all I wanted to say by that is that he can be very it can be dangerous um, when it comes to some of the stuff that he says like when it says 11 simple things that can make a woman's day okay there's 11 things in that video that could that can that has the potential to make a woman's day okay that's perfectly reasonable video to make I bet you it's full of bullshit as well but let's let that one go let's just let it go just let it go all right now let's see this one right here five foods to eat daily okay now he's gonna say five different foods that he says you should eat over everything else okay I think vegans are a little bit too um, they're not getting certain nutrients that they should is what I'm trying to say and he's telling people to eat five foods daily uh, and I think he's just saying like you should eat vegan whenever a lot of vegans are very unhealthy because they don't get all the nutrients that they can more easily get from the meats for example protein protein is very 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 hard to get from things like um, peanut butter okay there's not <laughs> if you eat peanut butter every day for like three months that's cool but after a hundred days of eating peanut butter you'll be like fuck I don't want to eat peanut butter anymore I've eaten it every single day for the last hundred days I'm done I want to eat some steak I want to eat some chicken I want to eat some non peanut butter bullshit okay and do you know how much peanut butter you need to eat to get like a good amount of protein a lot you have to eat a lot of apples and peanut butter and a lot of uh, celery and peanut butter and whatever else you eat peanut butter PB PB and J sandwiches okay and another thing is to get that much protein in your diet you need to eat a lot of peanut butter and peanut butter is really high in uh, these things called calories <laughs> so you can end up with all of the different foods you're trying to get all these different proteins in your body you can end up eating more calories by eating just vegetables and fruits and you know stuff like that than you can by eating just meat and a few vegetables and fruits right like you can end up eating even more like calories per day and that can get that can lead to um, you know like obesity and that can lead to a whole plethora of other things google it uh, there's a whole ton of <laughs> things that can that can, it can lead to so anyway uh, veganism he uh, goes at it the wrong way um, is what I'm trying to say anyway telepathy makes zero sense guys um, one of the things he actually says in that video is that you have to get someone as crazy as you for this to work now that totally makes sense because you essentially need to get someone who believes in something crazy for them to see the effects of this to work right or the effects of this right so essentially saying you have to believe this right you have to imagine this working and whenever you imagine something working you're imagining it so you're essentially imagining you know this telepathy and he's trying to get people to imagine telepathy he's not actually teaching them how to do it so that's kind of like one of the things he does uh, all the time in his videos he he makes it like like a placebo essentially like he makes you think it works but whenever it really didn't do anything anyway um, another thing I do want to go um, through is uh, this right here this is teal swan she has a YouTube channel okay and uh, her YouTube channel I think is here Alright, so this is another thing I really want to talk about is that he's associating himself with uh, the spiritual catalyst or whatever. And essentially this is a, um, I've seen a couple of videos on her and essentially she's like, uh, everybody's been kind of mean uh, about it. Um, they've been calling her like a failed model or something, I'm not sure. Um, essentially she went through some shit. And she became like this super spiritual person and now she's talking about like uh, entitlement and raising your energy technique um, and shit like that but she's done a lot of things like color therapy and there's like a whole ton of stuff that other people have that have exposed her for so I'm not gonna actually be make like talking about her too much in this video but I do want to say that he does ex associate himself with other known scam artists online 
uh, other people who have their own websites right here's uh, his website here's her website and she does uh, like success workshops and synchronization workshops <laughs> what the fuck is a synchronization workshop um, and then you have like processes shit like that there's a shop books she writes books too guys he has two books as well you guys want to buy a book these are great books all right you have uh, tarot cards frequency paintings all right leggings okay so what these are what this is is essentially let me explain to you how they work these two scams work okay so they have this YouTube channel where they make content quite frequently she does it a little bit less he does it way 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 more but he's way bigger as you can see he has 870,000 subscribers she has 350 by the way a lot of people who are subscribed to him have subscribed to her and vice versa but anyway uh, let's go through the process first of all they make videos on here people watch them okay now people watch these videos and they think wow this is useful stuff because some of it is useful they'll say be a vegan someone will try being a vegan they'll feel good because you know maybe it was a little bit healthy for them maybe they only ate meat and they, they didn't get enough nutrients they started eating vegan and maybe you know that's good for them maybe he said work out and they started working out sometimes he does say like useful things in the video where people can actually benefit from them you know so he will say things in this video people will follow them or he'll say enough things to where people are like hey that makes sense and they'll like start trusting him right and so once people trust this man they'll start doing things like going to his website all right now his website upcoming events right does he actually do anything Saturday March 26 2016 this is from 2016 I think he did some event he has two books maybe you buy one of his books or a CD right book eight dollars pretty cheap right and then I think he has another book what's his other book triathlon the love of a galaxy so wow that's a horrible that is horrible on <laughs> on his page here uh, on his uh, about page as you guys can see he says VFX artist <laughs> this this right here does not scream VFX artist guys he designed this this right here himself this looks horrible <laughs> this was professionally done okay he did not do this this looks way better all right anyway so he has two books $7.99 $10 whatever um, and I think both of these books uh, are probably full of crap he has a CD again probably full of crap and these people from his YouTube channel that now trust him they watch his videos every day they you know like they like seeing his face he's a friend of theirs it's just like any other YouTube channel you start like connecting with people you start getting the inside jokes I've been watching enough of these videos to where I know he talks about the cat he talks about the cat down the street that's kind of an inside joke breathing in that good ass prana he's talking about breathing in that good air um, he's talking about like uh, I don't know a bunch of other shit there's a bunch of little like inside jokes that people who've been watching him longer than me will understand more and better but anyway so maybe they come here they buy one of his books these books will not help the people okay there's no more information in one of these books than there is on his YouTube channel actually I bet you there's more useful ch useful uh, like information in say one month's worth of videos okay just one month okay that's 30 to 35 videos okay then there is in one of his books so just watch his YouTube channel for a month and I bet you you'll get more information than in his CD or in one of his books okay but another thing maybe people want something a little bit more tailored right he has these things called one-on-one -on -one sessions and these people will understand that this guy is he's a very important man he's got almost 900,000 subscribers on YouTube right same thing with Teal Swan. She's got 350,000 people on YouTube. These are big numbers, guys. Huge numbers. All right? Huge numbers. She's getting thousands of views per video. Now, every video he makes gets like 20,000 views. 
he has 900,000 subscribers. This leads me to believe he's been doing a little bit of subbotting. Her too. She really doesn't get enough views. But uh, he does have a few videos with like a couple million views. So I don't know. Maybe he subbotted the, or view botted those. But anyway, so you have these people. They trust them. They go to the thing. They maybe they've bought a book. Maybe they've bought a CD. Maybe it's helped them a little bit. You know, they became vegan or something. They feel a little bit better. But nothing has been fixed. Nothing has been altered in their life. They want more. They work a whole summer at McDonald's or whatever the fuck. And then they get 350 euros. Yeah, euros. So 350 euros. $350 essentially. A little bit over. So uh, 350 euros per hour. Right? This right here. Now this is more recent. This is one from like uh, like last year. Um, what is this? November? Yeah, I think this is November something. No, this is from May. This is from May, right? So this is from last year May. It was one hundred ninety dollars per or euros per hour, and now it's three fifty. Okay, so three hundred and fifty dollars per hour. They they pay. They talk to this guy. Now this is the problem where it's kind of subjective, right? They paid $350 to talk to this guy. Now this is perfectly fine. You can definitely like pay to talk to someone for $350. If you pay me $350, I'll talk to you for five hours, five whole hours. I'll talk to you for 350 and I'll talk to you about anything you want to talk about. All right. As long as it's not like horribly, uh, you know, offensive to everyone, but like just some, I'll talk about, I'll talk to you for like three and a half hours about carrots. I don't give a fuck. Let's talk for $350. Let's do it. All right. Now this guy, let's look down here in the testimonials, which are fake, by the way, these testimonials are all fake proof in a minute. Um, he's getting people. To make it look like these are helping people, right? Now, it's totally fine to tell people that talking to him is like... Like, to tell people to talk to me for $350, it's cool. But whenever you make it seem like you're going to help somebody, that's a whole different area. That's where you have to be legally, um, like a psychologist, right? You have to legally be a psychologist, right? Or a life coach or an actual life coach, right? Or a counselor, right? I don't know why he put criminologist or alchemist on there, right? Maybe, maybe he's a researcher. I don't know if he's a VFX artist. He really sucks at that. Maybe he's a cinematographer. He does make videos. But he's an infinite being as well. So as much as you believe him being an infinite being, right? Whenever he pisses, does infinite piss come out? No, he's not an infinite being then, I guess. <laughs> what the fuck? It's so stupid. Anyway, uh, <laughs> such a stupid example as well. Holy shit. Um, you know, like he's saying that he's essentially going to help people with these $350 sessions, right? Uh... I felt the sessions very much friendly environment and uh, with very general and specific re uh, resolutions for spirit spiritual and day-to-day -day questions. Okay. Um, was the best experience and the best insight becoming ver of becoming the best version of myself. So essentially, he's trying to make it seem like these things are gonna change your life. Every single one of these people just about has pretty much had the best talk of their life this man is the best conversationalist i've ever ever seen if he's giving getting out these results right now you can see you know duncan here thanks Ralph. that session had a nice flow to it i've learned a great deal over the last few months whilst working through this turmoil i've been going through it has been hell but I'm coming out of it now feeling like I'm a transform I'm transformed by this experience. So a lot of what we were discussing was me needing to speak to someone like-minded who understands what I'm getting at and who can shine a little light on my blind spots. 
I'm also, I, sorry, I also failed to mention that I didn't have much work for six months and had to sell loads of stuff to pay rent, which just added to the feeling of panic. I have some organic cacao in the cupboard. I'm getting in and out. Hope to do another session with you soon. Regards, Duncan. Alright, let's go over this. First of all, why the fuck would you pay $350 to... Like, why would he pay $350 if he has, like, problems selling... Or he had to sell loads of stuff to pay the rent. Why would he pay $350, okay? That doesn't make any sense, first of all. Like, that's just one thing. Like, you can easily spot that it that makes, like, this right here fake. This one right here, fake. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna be honest, these are all fake. Maybe a couple are real that he's, like, actually just, like, kept here. But this is why they're fake. Hey, what's up, Tatiana Tortelli? Where's Tatiana Tortelli? Here she is. Okay, Tatiana Tortelli. Look at her comment. It was posted 040216. All right, way back machine. Tatiana Tritelli, 051115. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You've been caught, my friend. Okay. Whoops. Why did I go to here? Anyway, um, as you guys can see, uh, he's been faking these testimonials. You can clearly see it here. He's been changing the dates to make it seem like everybody's buying these things all over, all the time. And, you know, it's busy and you should probably get one right now or I might not have enough time for you or some shit like that. I don't know. But, guys, I just wanted to say that um, I've been talking here for quite a while. And, honestly, I just wanted to inform you guys of, you know, this guy. He has been scamming people for months years he's been scamming people for years people have been paying hundreds of dollars to talk to this guy for an hour and you know maybe they really have a good talk with him maybe he's you know re really good at con you know conversing with people but the thing is he's like falsely advertising it here okay like this is a scam this is fault like what am i trying to say fraud this is fraud okay like it, it just is I mean, some of his YouTube videos are like probably good, but guys, just go watch two, three of his videos with AdBlock enabled so that he doesn't make any money off of you and just, just see what the videos are like and just critique them from a, just any type of point of view, okay? Just be some person. Don't just let him influence your thoughts just by thinking that he's some smart guy. I'm sure he's, you know, sm smart enough to sit here and make a video every day where he makes random ass shit up, but I've literally caught him where he watches a TED talk and falsely repeats the information that was given in that TED talk, which was also fake because he didn't do the research. He thinks that everything that's in TED talks is like real and that it's all like good information and that it's all like, like real stuff. Not all of it's real, guys. Some of the stuff in TED Talks is fake. Those are TED Talks. They're not like World Health Organization talks. Anyone can get on a TED Talk. You guys remember the name Monica Lewinsky? Okay. Uh, her uh, claim to fame, essentially, uh, unwanted claim to fame, was her having sex with uh, Bill Clinton, you know, President of the United States. I think like the 40. Second or 40, 40, yeah, 42nd president of the United States. Okay, she, she just had sex with him. Okay, and uh, she was able to do a TED talk. And now, I'm not saying that her TED talk was bad, I actually watched it, it was pretty good. It was about bullying, and she had a lot of really smart things to say. But, like, would you, without you know, watching a TED talk? sit there and like immediately say wow this is a legitimate you know ted talk after seeing that it's from monica lewinsky no you wouldn't because she is associated with like something really bad right so overall i just want to personally say that this guy is a fraud he is a scammer he has been scamming people for months to years 
okay, I think years actually, because I, I found out about him about seven months ago, I waited a couple months, or like a month, and then I made a video, that really horrible video, um, and then I'm making this video now. So I just want you guys to know that this guy should not be allowed on YouTube anymore. Number one, deceptive practices. Number two, misinformation. Number three, uh, unhealthy misinformation, okay? Now, I bet you he's not gonna get like shut down, but I do want you guys to please go check out a few of his videos. Personally critique these videos. Now don't do like, you know, random videos where it's him giving an opinion. Like for example, uh, he was talking about like uh, Dakota Access Pipeline, first thoughts. Don't do that, okay? Don't watch one of those or Trump land, first thoughts. Don't watch those because those are his opinions and you may or may not agree with his opinions. It doesn't matter. Those things don't matter. Go look at videos that are like how to know if you have ADHD. Okay, go watch one of those videos because those videos are supposed to contain facts. Okay? And facts are something that you can look up on Google, on Wikipedia or whatever else. And you can actually like... Um, examine his video and compare it to like say a Wikipedia article and see which one or uh, see if his um, information in that video is right okay and there's things like 10 secrets 10 secrets to brainwash anybody obviously like that's just a really like scummy title like that's a scummy thing to talk about and if he is good at brainwashing people let's just pretend for a second right He's been brainwashing all of his viewers. And if he's not good at it, then why the hell did he make a video on it? Like, he can't win with that video. You just can't. Anyway, that's it. I'm done talking about this uh, guy, I guess. Uh, I've been drinking coffee throughout this whole thing. Because uh, I've been talking the whole time. And I'm not used to talking for like an hour at a time. And uh, my throat's been getting dry. So I've been having to sip it. So I'm sorry about that. And I'm also sorry about, it was really boring, probably, to watch. Uh, I may just edit in some uh, League of Legends gameplay or something over the top of this video. Um, the only time I'm, I'll show things like him talking uh, or things like numbers or whatever, whenever I'm pointing things out, I'll actually show to you guys. So I'll probably just put in like some League of Legends gameplay in the background of this video so that it's a little bit more interesting to watch. But, for the most part, you guys don't have to watch this video. You can just listen to it like it's a podcast. Um, I'm saying this at the end of the video for some reason. That's cool. Whatever. Anyway, uh, I just want to thank you guys all for watching. If you guys agree with me that this guy is a fraud and a scammer, please leave a like in this video because a lot of people from his video are going to come to my video and dislike the video before watching it. Okay? Now, I would really like to have more likes than dislikes so please do that and if you guys could share this video around so that people know that this guy is a fraud and a scammer I mean there are 800,000 people over eight almost 900,000 it's probably gonna be 900,000 in a couple months um, people that are subscribed to this man even though they don't know he's a fraud or a scammer and things like that so I just wanted to like get the word out and honestly if you guys can spread this to like some of the more popular channels like tweet this at them so that they know what's going on that's gonna be it um, share the video leave a like subscribe to my channel I'm gonna be doing more of these videos where I expose people Thank you guys all so much for watching the video, and I'll see you guys in another one. Bye.